Composers are always looking for libraries that streamline the composing and articulation process so they can essentially perform their pieces easier rather than having minute control over everything. In a previous video, I talked about adventure strings and soaring strings from musical sampling, which are libraries designed to be played quickly and easily. Now I'm going to show you two more libraries from music sampling that are perfect for a broader use in cinematic, hybrid and orchestral application. Trailer brass and trailer strings. <laughs> These two libraries are evolutions of the original Adventure Brass and Adventure Strings libraries. They're more streamlined, have a more polished sound, and are designed to sound big right out of the box. Let's start with Trailer Brass. There's no messing around with this library. You're given three sections. A massive 10 horn ensemble. a massive 10 trombone ensemble, and a special low brass group for extreme low range accents and annihilation, featuring Chimbasi and Tubin. This is where the library meets the composer halfway. No complex sections, soloists and fiddly articulations. Just boot up, play and you're done, with a massive sound easily achieved. All we really need are the staccatos and sustains, as provided in the adventure patch. Also, if you want a nice middle ground with not too much attack and accent, the majestic patches can be used to achieve that soaring sound. The horns can be used for mid and high range coverage and light low range coverage. Trombones have a sharper, brighter sound that cuts through and can be used for lower and higher coverage. The Horde Ensemble, on the other hand, is basically for destroying the listener, unless you use soft sustains as low-range beds. It's all there, it's all simple, and it all sounds fantastic. There aren't many orchestral libraries that really focus on the hybrid side of scoring with this level of ease and use, so this library can be a lifesaver when it comes to just getting the brass done. Also provided are low blasts and designed effects that will save you heaps of time on your scores. It works perfectly. This brings me to trailer strings. Once again, there's not many libraries available for simple hybrid orchestral scoring when it comes to strings, and as far as I'm concerned, this library is the boss in that area. <laughs> Simple, sleek, practical. Scores can be made in almost no time and the sound is what I'd describe as regal. 
somewhat similar in fact to soaring strings, so these two libraries perform perfectly together. But what about adventure strings? Well, overall, I'd say this library is superior to adventure strings in a few ways. First, the short notes are much more detailed. Second, the sections generally sound slightly more delicate than adventure strings, even though large string sections were recorded for this. It can sound much more emotive. Finally, we're given a selection of effects, which are essential for moody scoring. This makes trailer strings a really great addition to your string collection, and it's fun to play. Although do note that the breakout patches that contain all the articulations aren't designed to be played while key switching. The key switches are there as a container for what you want to use in the patch. You're better off loading separate patches, which is what I like to do anyway, or using the adventure patches, which contain multiple articulations that don't require key switching. If you want a soft, rich sound like soaring strings, just pull up the soft dynamic sustains, keep the mod wheel pulled down, change the dynamic CC to something you're not using, then MIDI learn the mod wheel to the volume fader. Obviously one thing that separates the trailer brass and strings from the adventure brass and strings is the mic option. So you can get a closer in your face sound. Or a wider spacious sound. Adventure strings and brass still have their own charm, and adventure brass also sports trumpets and a tuba. But if emotive hybrid scoring is your thing, and you want it now, combining trailer brass, trailer strings, and soaring strings will get you there almost effortlessly.
And that's that. I'll see you next time with another library. Check you later.